Hi, this is Mrs. Young. We're going to talk today a little bit about where you can get some great resources for your uh, Shakespearean research or Romeo and Juliet project. First thing I want to do is have you go to the high school page. Once you're at the high school page, we're going to click on the tabs where it says Media Center. My computer seems to be working a little slowly today, so I apologize for that. And then, you know, we click there for the Avon High School Library website. I will tell you, instead of going through all of those different um, different websites, if you want to just bookmark it just by pressing the star here and saving that, um, that might be a little bit easier for you, too. That's what I have. I have mine bookmarked on there. Um, on the website, we're going to scroll down to English because we're in English class. And then we're going to scroll down to these additional resources section, and we're going to click on where it says Shakespeare. Okay, sorry that took a little bit longer to load. I'm not sure why. All right, so we've got some great resources for you on this page. Um, each one of these is kind of a different setup. Um, these are going to be some general websites for you. And there's going to be some TV shows. There's going to be some video clips if you kind of like some additional information about the plays. And then we get down here to the research section. And this research um, will be using Gale Student Resources and Context, which is one of the databases that we have available for you. Now, a lot of you have heard things about fake news lately, and you've heard things about um, just different, like making sure you've got accurate, reliable information. Our databases are something that you can't actually get to through Google. You can only get to them through our library website. You do, we do actually pay a subscription cost for them because all of the information in here has been verified um, to make sure that the information is accurate. So that's one reason I really like to use the databases because if you're Googling something, you're going to have to double check it. You're going to have to make sure, oh, who's the author of this website and where did my information come from and is it going to be good to use or is it made up? Um, you know, you've seen in the news, we're finding a lot of things that have been made up that we don't even realize are made up, and those are like people of national importance aren't realizing that they're made up. Um, so we want to make sure we've got good references, and that's what these are. They're really good references. So this is just a good overview. Um, you can see that there's biographies and there's some different materials here that might be interesting to you. When you see this and it says reference and there's a number next to it or biographies and there's a number next to it, if you click on that, that means there's actually 141 articles on this topic. So I'm going to click on that first and show it to you real fast. And so this will take me to the different articles. So maybe you find um, Shakespeare and superstition sounds interesting. So that's something that you might look at. It's going to give you a topic overview of what that's all about. And you can see my article there. Now, one other thing that I really, really, really like about this is that you're going to need to do a works consulted page. That means you're learning about your Shakespearean topic, you're gathering information, and your teacher would like you to know, hey, what, what did you read? What did you look at to determine your information? Um, and that's what's called the works consulted page. If you see right here, it is already done for you. So if your teacher asks you to submit that, we can copy it and we can paste it into whatever we need to paste it into. So there are a couple other interesting pieces of information here. You can see there are some additional citation tools. So if your teacher ever asks you to do, um, we currently use MLA format, but there are different formats called APA. And if you click on these citation tools, it will do that for you. You can email the article to yourself. You can download it or print it. Um, you can translate it. There are some related subjects on the side over here, and there's more that you can even look at. Um, and then it will also read it to you. Over here it says listen. You press play. It will read to you um, the information that's on the screen. So there are a lot of great tools here that you can take a look at. I'm going to close out of that one for right now. Um, and I'm going to show you, here's one that's a world history in context. That's going to be similar to student resources and a biography in context. They're kind of set up the same way. Um, so they're real easy to use. Um, this Elizabethan era one's kind of interesting um, because that's looking at the time period and what's going on there. This view more, if you click on view more once this loads, um, you can it'll have a ton of information for you as well um, on that topic and kind of give you just the background of what that means. So that's another good one to look at. Um, with all of these, if you are accessing them from home, 
Um, if you're on your school computer, you should be okay. Um, but if for some reason you can't get in, because we do pay a subscription service, there's a username and password. If we click here, it is actually going to take us to the school web page login, and I log in with the same thing you use to log into your computer. So that's my login. And what it's going to do is it's going to, oh, look, I got it wrong. <laughs> Let me draw my password again. What it's going to do is it's going to give you a list of usernames and passwords. So there we can see if we scroll down, so I find the um, student resources and context and the biographies and context, all of those are going to be this username is Avon12 and the password is Nova12. So that's how you'll get into those if you need a, a password for it. The last thing I want to show you is Bibme. Let's say you're using one of these general web resources. So here's a Bard Web. Um, dot net. This is a really good one too, the Shakespeare Resource Center, and you can look on this left hand side for your topic. But let's say this is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to, actually I'm going to go to, let's say I go to the Globe Theater. And there's going to be some information there about Shakespeare's Globe Theater. So when I need to do a citation, this is a standard website so it's not done for me. So I'm going to copy the website, and then I'm going to go to this Bibme. And Bibme is really cool. It's going to say, hey, you want to do a citation? Yep, we want it in MLA. And I want to add a citation. And I want to do a website. So I'm simply clicking on where it says website. And it's being a little slow again. I'm going to paste in that website that I used, and I'm going to search websites. Once that loads, I select the website. And again, I apologize for this being so slow today. It's acting really slowly. And it will say, here's what we found and it will have the URL, it will have the title, it will have the date that you accessed it. It will say sometimes on here we couldn't find this information, um, but that's okay, you're going to go ahead and do the final step. I mean, unless it's something important like they couldn't find the website title, then you do need to check that. So it fills in all of the information for you, and if I scroll down to the very bottom, it will say Create Citation. Once it's created the citation for you, you're going to hit Copy and Paste. Um, and I know that most people you want to highlight that. It says you're, it's now copied. Um, but if you highlight it, what it does, is, if I can get this to scroll down and work today, um, what it does is it highlights that colored background behind it, and it doesn't um, go into a Word document very well. So just make sure you hit the copy and paste button. So happy researching. Make certain that you're using good, reliable websites. Start with this list. It's got a lot of great stuff in it. Um, you can also go into this Gale Student Resources and Context and do your own search as well. So you don't have to use just the resources that I've pulled up for you, but you can search on your own. Uh, let me know if you need any help. Have a great day.